Hi folks, this is a follow on to video number 200 which is uh, using it for each loop to loop through Excel spreadsheets and load them into a click view document. So I had a question on Twitter to see, to asking if I could um, load them into click view but also store them into QVDs. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. So the first thing what you want to do is you want to load in, if you press Control and R to reload You'll see it's loaded each of our Excel spreadsheet spreadsheets and here's our spreadsheets here. Again I just give them random uh, a random name just gibberish but with a space in between it. So if we um go back into click view and come into our script what we need to do here is um, store Store our Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to store it into our source, which is up here. So just wrap it in parentheses with a dollar because it's a variable. So we're going to store each of our spreadsheets into this file path and the name of the spreadsheet. So we just put in .qvd So now if we reload that See, we get an error message table not found. And the reason for that is, is because all the fields are the same date and amount in each sheet. You get an error message because it's looking for the force table because it automatically concatenates. Them. So, what we want to do is just use the no concatenate in front of the load statement. Now, if you reload our script. So we get another error message. Um, and the reason why we're getting the error message is because of the space in the sheet name. So we just put square brackets around the name of the VXL sheets. Now if you reload it, we should get no problems at all. And you can see that we've got for QVDs. That's pretty much it. Hope that helps. I'll see you next video. Cheers.